Hello there and happy Monday to you. My name is T. Marie. I make transformation easy with products, practices, and coaching. And this right here is All's Well Lifestyle. Today, I wanted to talk about just checking in with ourselves and quite frankly, writing ourselves a love letter writing ourselves a love letter, because I'll tell you something, it is really needed sometimes. You know, recently I have been quite sick, which has not been a good deal. I mean, I'm telling you, thankfully it hasn't been anything terrible, uh, but I don't get sick and I hadn't been sick in many years. And so being kind of just in bed and not feeling well has really put a lot of things into perspective, which is the reason for today's show. So sometimes, you know, something will happen and that will cause us to question what we're up to and why we're doing things and, and, and really cause us to look at ourselves outside of ourselves in a way that gives us a lot of uh, perspective and a lot of introspection. So here's what happened for me. There are a lot of goals that I have had and that I've fiercely held on to. And the payoff for the achievement of those goals is very much a dream. Something I hadn't experienced yet, something that has kept me going. But then have I been fulfilling the dream? Have I been fulfilling the dream? That's the question that's been on my mind as I haven't been feeling well and as I've still been, you know, focused on these goals I've had. I said, well, have I been experiencing the payoff that I was hoping for? And if I haven't, which in some cases I haven't, then what is it all for? What is it all for? When things go wrong and when we aren't feeling our best, we can really realize that those good times sometimes do go away without us ever expecting or wanting them to. It doesn't take a grave disease to make this happen if we have a little introspection. And so today we're talking about writing ourselves, feeling that love letter to ourselves, feeling that check-in, if you will, and seeing, you know, why are we doing what we're doing Are we happy with what we're getting? And what if we were to turn our perspective a little bit toward ourselves in a new way? If you've been striving really hard towards something, maybe a check-in and realizing uh, if you've achieved that yet is a good thing. Maybe you've been so focused, a little love could be in order. Or maybe a little focus. We all have something special we can give ourselves right now. And for some of us that usually are focused outwardly or giving service to a lot of people or helping a lot of people, sometimes uh, we don't focus on ourselves enough. So today we're gonna feel good about ourselves and check in with ourselves throughout today's show. And we're going to see, is there something we can give ourselves? Sometimes the hours go by so quickly. And so today we're talking about checking in with ourselves and really being able to identify what it is we may need so that we can feel good and be empowered. And this is going to be different for each and every one of us. But the check-in, the check-in is still so important. I was recently not feeling well and just needing to literally be laying down and taking medicine and getting myself better. And that allowed me a really, really important time of introspection. And hopefully you don't have to not feel well to check in with yourself. Because the truth of it is, is that life is short. And at any given point in time, we could find ourselves focused on the wrong thing, driven by the wrong thing, having the wrong perspective about ourselves, driving ourselves too hard, or not giving ourselves enough credit. These things can lead to a really unhappy life and a really unhappy existence that is not necessary. So hopefully you don't have to feel bad in order to kind of get this little awakening, this opportunity to check in with yourself and say, hey, how am I doing? How am I feeling? And Is there something I can give myself? 
Is there something I can give myself right now that would show myself something that I need? Like I said, it'll be different for each and every person. So like over the course of this recent not feeling well, some of the things that I needed to give myself was care and ease and comfort. Now, this might seem very on the nose, but you have to understand I'm a pretty driven person with my own small business. And so being able to just kind of let go, let go of all the things that I need to do, let go of all the things I'm striving for, just kind of take a rest and kick back and, and not be focused on what I'm doing. It took me days. It took me days to finally succumb to be able to say, I really cannot try to do anything else but get better right now. And so how many of us have this? We're so driven by a goal, by a pursuit of something that even basic care for ourselves sometimes just falls by the wayside. And we don't mean for it to happen. It's just something that occurs because maybe our passion or our desire or our focus or our energy or our love that we want to express to someone or something else ends up taking center stage. So that's an example for you. You might not have the same case, but we've got to be able to check in with ourselves so that we can give ourselves the care and the love that we need. And I'm telling you, those things, they are different. They are different each and every time, but always necessary. After all, if not, we can forget some very key pieces of ourselves. Oh, let us not forget the child in each and every single one of us that beautiful, loving, kind, generous, graceful being inside each and every one of us that sometimes just gets lost under the task list and the obligations and even the good things like goals and dreams and desires that suddenly become so serious that the kid, that sweet little kid, is gone, just buried under the mountains of stuff. This is all well lifestyle and it's about feeling good and being empowered. And sometimes it doesn't sound like the raw, raw message, but it's all, all absolutely, not only intended, but absolutely serving the greatest good, which is your greatest happiness, our greatest happiness, our greatest joy, our greatest possibility. And sometimes, what I'm finding more and more and more oftentimes, it's in doing the opposite of all the things we get drilled into us as adults. That's where our truest happiness lies. So today we're talking about just giving that love letter to ourselves, giving that bit of care, whatever it is. For each person, it's gonna be different. And for each of us, at each different time, it's going to be different. You know, yeah, I wasn't feeling good. And I see someone here uh, wrote into the studio that, you know, they've been not feeling well and that hasn't been feeling good. Maybe you're not not feeling well. Maybe you're just under the weight of the pressure of whatever it is you have going on. Maybe you're just under the weight of the recent news stories because there's always a news story. Can I just tell you? I mean, are we connected or are we just getting bogged down? Because boy, if one more news story, we don't need that much news. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know, whatever it might be, today we're talking about the power of checking in with ourselves at any given point in time and identifying like we would a sweet child that we love so much. We're identifying that sweet, innocent, wonderful, loving child within us. And we're discovering, what do you need? What do you need, my love? What do you need? Is it a hug? Is it fun? Is it rest? Is it care? Is it joy? Is it play? What do you need? And let's give ourselves that thing. 
Let's love ourselves. This is a wonderful, easy, powerful practice that does so much. It does so much for us. And it's important for us to remember so we cannot lose touch with the child inside of us. Today, we're talking about checking in with ourselves at any given point in time with love, grace, care, understanding, and saying, honey, what do you need? What do you need? Okay. You need a hug? All right. I got one for you. Okay. You need, you need some jokes. You need some laughs. Shoot. That's a good time to be connected. You know, you want to find some laughs right away. You can go to TikTok. There's memes. There's, you know, that's the good way to use social media or YouTube and just get yourself laughing right away. You need some care. You need some love. Listen, some of us do not have a person we can call. Some of us do not have a person we can call. And so when we need that love, unfortunately, and fortunately, because I know sometimes, you know, we need it from another being. We need to feel additional arms around us. But I'm telling you something, you're not alone. You're not alone. You're welcome with me anytime at tmarie.com, T-E-E-M-A-R-E-E.com. You come anytime. You send me a message, you're going to get a message back. You need a prayer. You want to discover something that can help to keep you uplifted and empower. It is there. Because not all of us have another person that we can turn to when we are just at the depths of it. So I just want you to know you're not alone. You do have another person. It's me, tmarie.com, T-E-E-M-A-R-E-E.com. But let's say for whatever reason, you're, you're just counting on yourself. Hug yourself. Love yourself. Look in the mirror. And even if it makes you cry, say, I love you. I love you. You're beautiful. I'm grateful that you can do this. I'm grateful that you have that. I see you. I see how hard you're working. I see what you are doing. I see that you haven't given up. Whatever it is, we're talking today about checking in with ourselves and giving ourselves what we need. To-do lists be damned. Goals be damned. Because oftentimes those things, while good, can separate us from the very basic needs that we have. I'm telling you, I was laid up, I was sick, and it took me days, it took me days to just finally, it's like, lady, lay down, take medication, stop trying to squeeze something out here at the computer, let it go. The world will not crumble if you actually give yourself the rest you need. And I'm telling you, we just get wild. We get wild under these guises of, oh, everything is so important. So please understand and know today we're talking about checking in with ourselves and we're talking about giving ourselves that love, that care, that power, that grace that we need. And thank God it is so simple to do. Okay. It is simple. I didn't say easy because sometimes it's going to feel weird. You might feel weird going to the mirror and saying, okay, I'm going to look in the mirror and and talk to myself right now. But honey, who cares? Let me tell you something. That's the best weird to feel. I'd rather feel that kind of weird of of telling myself some positive things in the mirror than feeling the weird of clinging, trying to produce at the computer and I'm just dying. (laughs) You know? Let's stand for the right kind of weird. I'm down for that. Who's with me? Please tweet, comment, message me in the studio. Let me know if you are resonating with this message today. Today we are talking about giving ourselves that love letter, giving ourselves what we need. Okay. So if you're just tuning in right now, what that means is at any time, day or night, the ability to check in with ourselves honestly, and then just say, Hey, what do I feel? What do I need? And really letting whatever that answer is come out. If it's a hug, give yourself a hug. If it's a positive word, if it's a prayer, if it's rest, if it's fun, if it's a treat, Can I just tell you, we had an ice cream truck that comes through the neighborhood. This is a miracle. I haven't had an ice cream truck since I was a little kid. So as soon as the song comes down the neighborhood, I'm inherently filled with a sense of joy and wonder. 
There is a magical truck with treats that is coming our way. And so this weekend, my husband and I, we actually, thank goodness, a neighbor, uh, a neighbor child stopped the ice cream truck in time and we went and got an ice cream. To, I can't even tell you a better way to spend $2.50, okay? $2.50 and we were in bliss having had an ice cream from the ice cream truck. So I offer these opportunities to you because you are valuable, beautiful, important, necessary, and it sounds simple. And it is simple, but it isn't easy because these simple things somewhere along the way we have lost touch of. And so instead, we, we just continue to operate under these very complicated ways that take us further and further away from our basic needs. So uh, should we listen to another song? I mean, oh gosh, it's kind of late to do so, which is unfortunate because, yeah, oh, I'm so sorry, friends. I got carried away. I get excited about this stuff because when it comes to taking care of ourselves, you know, listen, I, I come from having to take care of myself at a very young age, needs and all, needs and extras. So I understand inherently the importance of needing to take care of yourself. And it's that that fuels my desire to share what I've learned and share what I use with everyone else that I can. Because these simple but powerful things can mean the difference between depression and darkness and lethargy and giving up and being isolated and ending up unhealthy and on and on and on. So I'm dedicated to this and I hope that you did receive a, a little bit of power, a little bit of inspiration and a little bit of practical tools of how you can do this. Okay. My name is T Marie. I make transformation easy. I have products, I have practices and I provide coaching. If you come to tmarie.com, T E E M A R E E.com, you can sign up to my email list immediately and get free resources. And let me just tell you this. I only email maximum one time a week. Maximum is what you will hear from me. Not because I don't have tons to share, but because again, I'm all about being of service, not of a burden. So just like I make transformation easy, I also will make sure our relationship feels easy and good and hopefully as a blessing to you because anytime anyone's connected with me, I feel very blessed. Uh, thank you to Sean for writing into the studio. Thank you to Sarag and thank you to Michelle. And I do have a live schedule. Please go to tmarie.com, T-E-E-M-A-R-E-E.com to find out about my live schedule and all the things I have to offer. Sign up to my email list and you'll get stuff right away and, and we'll stay in contact that way. I do have a live schedule and you can find it there. Okay, this has been All's Well Lifestyle. Have a beautiful day. Please check in with yourself regularly and be willing to give yourself whatever it, it is. A hug, uh, a laugh, anything you need. And remember, no matter what, you got a friend in me, tmarie.com. I can't wait to see you again. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye, guys. I want to show you.